buddies. Welcome to Thunderdome. No, I'm just kidding. It's MoFi Gate. The debacle at MoFi. So many names. We'll get into that in a second. Hey, it's Concert Buddy. Uh, are you, like me, suffering from mobile fidelity fatigue, MFF? Well, I am. And in this video, I'm just going to put my bow on this topic from my perspective. That's not me voguing, <laughs> believe it or not. That's me tying a bow. Uh, I'm going to put a bow on this mobile fidelity topic from my perspective, give you my final thoughts, and then big news. News for the channel that you simply will not believe, and I mean that sincerely, you will not believe it. So cue that lover, I'll see you in a second. And we're back. So buddies, MoFi Gate, the debacle at MoFi, it has so many names. And I'm gonna get into that in a second. That's my probably my favorite part of this is this how <laughs> perceived crises seems to be the mother of creativity when it comes to trying to brand the situation. But um, first off, there's a reason I'm not gonna keep posting MoFi videos because honestly, like people are uh, people out there. If you look at my last video, which by the way, thank you if you're a new subscriber from that video. I was really really taken back by how many people watched the video and commented subscribed after so it meant a lot so genuinely i really do appreciate that all that said there are people who are more more in the know on this topic there's so many and evidently you have to have mike <laughs> as your name as your given name your government name to really be the tip of the spear on this and that's cool full disclosure my name is not mike my real name my government name is not mike i don't care I'm the last person that needs to be on the white horse leading the charge. All that said, there's been some great information uh, going back and forth on some of these videos. Everyone's got a take, it seems. Some people have more than one take, and that's great. That is one of the coolest things about living in our country, Northern Hemisphere, in the world today, YouTube, the power of taking your thoughts and feelings and bringing them to the masses. My take, my personal opinion, is I'm still still working through it, like I said in my last video, but one thing I've kind of come to a more concise uh, POV point of view is the one steps. And why, when I thought the Van Halen one steps were from tape, I was really excited seeing how they could push the envelope. Um, the romanticism is kind of gone now that it's been obviously announced that uh, they're using digital sourcing do digital masterworks, if you will, on the one step. So personally, I'm on Team Mazzy, Norman Maslow on this. The boxes are ridiculous. Uh, I understand why they went that route. And even to a lesser extent, uh, the folks at Analog Productions did the same thing with their UHQR series. It's perceived value. I get it. If you take a $5 box that looks nice, you can charge 20 to 30 more dollars MSRP. I get it, right? Well, you do the math, I'm doing the Alfredo. <laughs> um, I'm hoping, 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 hoping if they continue this one step series after all these pre orders, there's people canceling them. There's people, this Hoffman forums are like, it's really intense right now. There's over 300 pages of commentary on the Hoffman forums. And to be frank, to be your man on the street, <laughs> I've spent a lot of time reading over 300 pages of commentary. I don't want to come out here and blow my own horn. I don't want to toot my own horn, but toot, toot. And uh, not only did it put me to sleep, not once, but twice yesterday, because it just destroyed my eyeballs, but it actually gave me a lot of fodder for what I'm about to talk about here in a second. But anyway, Mo MoFi One Steps, $125 for, for a record that's predominantly digitally mastered. I just, I don't know if I can do it anymore. I've already called Music Direct, canceled. I've already trimmed my pre-orders. Like, I don't need James Taylor, Greatest Tists for $125 from a digital source. Uh, Sketches of Spain, that's another one I canceled. I'm still waiting and debating, like LL says, about those Van Halen pre-orders, uh, the Bitches Brew, Miles Davis. <sighs> just hard, because I was really looking forward to those. Um... So I don't know, I'm still still wrestling with that myself, but I definitely think the $125 price point is stupid. Uh, it would really have to be, I mean, after 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 this thriller situation, 
it would have to be a knock your socks off title for me to even consider it again unless they make changes get rid of the box bring the price point to 70 to 80 dollars i think would be you know understandable all that stuff as a company i don't know about you i don't think a lot of companies are like openly yeah let's take the price down 30 to 40 percent I, I i just don't see it especially because they, they're opening up a pressing plant so much to say but one thing i want to put a bow on this topic is uh the, <laughs> the perceived crisis like i said uh, there's just so much creativity of how to label this. Some people are calling it MoFi Gate. Some people are calling it the debacle at MoFi. Uh, some other good ones, uh, MoFaux, F-A-U-X. Uh, mobile Scamality Sound Labs. Uh, mobile Infidelity Sound Labs. I mean, there's some really funny stuff. Uh, people are calling this the hashtag MoFit. That's the one I like best. That's the one I would probably stick with. I think that's great. I'm having a MoFit. I'm so mad <laughs> about this situation. But look, at the end of the day, it's your money. It's my money. Uh, they make a quality product. I, I don't think that's in dispute. Uh, I will say that I don't really think it was uh, deception or dishonesty. I mean, in a way, I think it was definitely uh, intentional, uh, intentional omission of certain key facts. So intentional omission is what I'm going with uh, because they could have easily years ago when they started doing this, because they put out a lot of promotional stuff and even on the inserts on the, on the one steps, they have like the visual that could easily be interpreted as coming from tape and blah, blah, blah. So they've had ample time to control the narrative in this situation. And, and quite frankly, it reeks of arrogance. They, they make a great product. Those engineers do a great job. I don't think that's in dispute. What is in dispute is why didn't the company be forthright about this, especially as you're introducing a new product to the market and these eagles, one steps, and people are excited. Oh, this is the best it's ever gonna sound. And at the end of the day, maybe that's the proof will be in the pudding. But the, the, the lack of transparency, is it's a really tough pill to swallow. And I can definitely see that I definitely feel it and if you feel the same way, I'm with you. Believe it or not, I'm totally with you. Canceling all my pre-orders, I'm wrestling with that. Selling off all my MoFi's, I'm not gonna do that. That's just nonsense, like it's very juvenile. So if you choose to do that, I'm not calling you juvenile, I'm just saying, let it breathe for a little bit. That's a big investment to you know just jump off of. You know, no one, no one harmed your firstborn child. It's at the end of the day, folks, firmly believe this. It's a first world problem. We're blessed that we can have this conversation and be so up, be so in our feelings about this situation. When the reality is, it's just records. It's just a company selling us records. We can ultimately choose how to spend our consumer spending power elsewhere, keep it there, etc. But uh, tip of the cap to the folks who have really taken a real creative license. That video by uh, Rock and Rev, man, rolling, rolling. So I really, really enjoy that. That's all I gotta say. Only thing I'll be talking about going forward on Mobile Fidelity, barring Mobile Fidelity's base of operation exploding or something real newsworthy, is I'm just gonna talk about the records I have. So that is your concert buddy, guarantee. George Foreman, guarantee. Not out of bed. All right, so the real exciting news is, well, one, 200 subs, awesome, awesome. Now I'm just getting warmed up. Again, thank you so much. I'm beyond flattered folks are subscribing and enjoying the, the, the channel enjoying the goofiness the nonsense that i like to put out there for the public to consume but there's been some folks who have been a big help as i've been scaling the channel uh, for example uh, rachel williams and rachel's ghost the probably best live stream in the vinyl community she's been a big champion of the channel I sincerely appreciate that it means a lot i love those live streams like it's been probably one of my favorite things since i've been making videos to kind of fall down the rabbit hole and really learn a lot. It really are equal parts informative and funny and nonsense and degrees of butthurt. I am butthurt. And ribbing each other. That's the kind of stuff I really enjoy. So as long as it's done in a good natured way, it's nothing personal. Uh, I think it's for, it's, it's a definitely a value add in my journey here in the vinyl community. Uh, Steve Carlson, another great dude in the vinyl community who's been you know talking my channel up and really encouraging me behind the scenes some feedback about uh 
how to build the channel and grow the channel and, and get ride the YouTube algorithms and all that stuff. So Steve, such a great dude. Rob over at Northern Revolutions has been a big, big help. He's mentioned my channel a couple times on his as his continues to ascend into the stratosphere up in the northern area of Canada. Uh, and then even like Mega Jeff is a new subscriber, relatively new subscriber. He shouted me out uh, almost immediately as part of a contest he was in. So, so many people have been very helpful, not only teaching me things and giving me advice and and being supportive, but uh, I mean, it's it's just, it's it's been an interesting ride so far and I can only uh, imagine where it's gonna go as I continue. Time has come! So the real exciting, the, the bee's knees part of this video that I'm really excited to share with you is uh, as the channel is growing, uh, getting like emails or, you know, social media reach outs, what have you, about endorsement opportunities. And I, your boy's not gonna be whoring himself out. I will, I'll say that with complete candor. But I had an opportunity to even push the channel to another level. Some folks who knew some folks, who knew how to get some folks, folks you didn't even think were around to endorse a little, little channel like me, have come through the woodwork to really give the channel the next push. So check this out. Hi, Billy Mays here from Concert Buddy. The easy way to fix, fill, and seal virtually anything fast and make it last. Concert Buddy is not a glue, but a super powered epoxy that you can mold to any shape and apply directly to most any surface for an everlasting bond. Ordinary epoxies are a mixing mess. With Concert Buddy, you just cut like dough, simply need to activate, apply, and let dry. It has the muscle oh, to support yeah. up to 350 pounds. Rebuild a damaged tool to work like new, or make car repairs and save money. Drills, bolts, and screws can ruin your project with Concert Buddy. You just cut, activate, and apply. Here's something you can't do with glue. Concert Buddy. Seals leaks instantly. Use it on pipes and faucets for a permanent seal. As you need, it activates, turning from green to white to show it's ready to hold on tight. It has the strength to pull this fully loaded 80,000 pound tractor trailer. Now that's the power of Concert Buddy. Whether it's towel to wood, metal to glass, any job, big or small, Concert Buddy he repairs them all. Fill cracks in ceilings, walls, and floors. Mold it to furniture, sand and paint for a seamless repair. And it's ideal for all your crafting projects. Wow. There's nothing you can't do with Concert Buddy. Call now and we'll send you two powerful sticks of Concert Buddy for only $19.99. But through this exclusive TV offer, we'll double it and send you two more sticks free. Concert Buddy. It will pay for itself the very first time. But I'm not done yet. What? Call right now and I'll triple the offer and send you six sticks of Concert Buddy. For the same low price of $19.99. Order now. Yeah! All right, buddies. What did you think of that? I was just having a little fun. Uh, complete satire. I don't do it as well as Rev Rock and Rollin'. That's 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 whole nother level. Whole nother level to uh, the satire game. But just wanted to have some fun. Everybody's been real serious about this MoFi thing, and rightfully so to an extent. But at the end of the day, like I keep saying, it's just records. It's just music. It's just about what you make of it and I just wanted to have some fun tell me in the comments below if you thought it was complete trash <laughs> if it made you laugh awesome that's what I was aiming for just to try to bring some some uh some levity to the situation all that said again I sincerely appreciate you watching thanks for taking your time your most valuable commodity and investing it even for a few minutes in my channel I really do appreciate it I'm gonna get back to spinning records here shortly showing records record halls all that stuff let's i'm ready bofi fatigue is real and it's here and i want to get gone so all that said next time you get the chance just spin it i'll see you next time well 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 how the turntables well we out of time